Hi, welcome back to my masquerade. My name is Para, your host, and welcome to Null Recall. Um, this game was act personally by the developer, David, that I would give it a try. And I said, sure, why not? But I don't really know what it's about. Um, I think this is the trailer, maybe? It's paranoid, psychic dialogue, exploring, mind reading puzzles. I'm not good with puzzles. If you guys have been in the channel for a long time, you know I'm not good with puzzles. But the developer told me that I could skip it at any time, so that's great. But I'm definitely going to give the puzzles a try with the best of all my brain cells. Um, so the first one's 20 minutes long and it's called Alter Egos. Use your mind reading ability to find a psychic serial killer. Which sounds pretty good. Uh, let's see. Does it matter who I am? Sure, we'll be Victorian lady. Okay, nice music. Oh, this is a weird. I've never seen overhead gameplay. So, WASD to move near objects when they glow yellow, left click to interact with them. Ooh, okay. Oh no. Is my eye bleeding? Well, this is a dead human. <laughs> Let me just step all over them. Are you alive? Are you dead? Are you alive? Help! There's a body in the restroom. Oh. Okay. Different room. Alex Lund. Yahoo! Bad dream. Maybe I should take a vacation to sort things out. What time is it? I need to get to work. This music is very loud. I'm just going to lower it a little bit. All right. Well, I want to see the news. Oh, no. It's in a thing I can't read, but it looks like a nuclear sign, so... Radiation? Uh... Got it! Sure, sure, sure. Whatever. Ever go blind shopping? We can go blind shopping. I was just thinking of playing interactable games again. Wait, is this where I just saw the dead body? Where do I live? Oh, fancy your shirt. A door! Can I have it? Will you give it to me? You wanna give it to me? Okay. No problem. Didn't say how I can collect things, either. <gasps> oh, I'm a lady? What? This park was made possible by Leon Madley. Hello. Good morning. Mad Gaines. What will you have? Roxy Vanderbilt. I'll take a pepperoni pizza with some parmesan if you have it. Of course I'll have it. Would you like a cheesy joke with your order? Sure? What do you call a pizza with no cheese? Topless. Oh, wow. Nice. Ni very nice. Oh, well, here's your order. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. I guess. I mean, that, that cheesy joke. Alright. Oh, hey, dude. Attic. Alex. Yes. Hey, did you get any sleep? A little. Don't you have any hobbies? Working so late isn't healthy. I'll take it easy after I get promoted. What's wrong with being a detective? Let's see. No power, less respect, me to core pay. You know, these achievements won't make you happy. What does then? I've never heard of anyone complaining about being loved too much. Sorry for having dreams. Hey, I had a weird dream last night. Was it your dad again? No. I found a dead body in a bathroom. What do you think it means? It could mean you're trying to clean away some sort of guilt. Maybe, but it didn't have any showers. It was a public bathroom. Did you recognize the body? Text message. Homicide at Redwood and Setter Avenue. A homicide? This should be interesting. Go on without me. I need to finish this pizza. You're gonna leave me here all alone? Bro, I'm out of here. So I'm a detective and so is he? Oh. His name was Doran Diesel. Dese. Dese? Why would she stab him in the chest and decapitate him? How do you know it was a woman? The footprints are around 9 inches, 23 centimeters, or about the size of a woman's foot. Decapitation doesn't seem like something a woman would do. I disagree. We're the best at taking head. <laughs> you get him. You need to see a psychologist. How dare you? I am perfectly sane. I really should. The first step to recovery is admitting you have a problem. I'm a psycho. I do feel a bit better. So did you find anything else? His body is stiff. He died less than a day ago. Have you taken a look at his chest? Yes. It doesn't seem like a knife or gun shot did this. More like it was crushed. Did you find something on the laptop? What the heck could you crush a human's ribcage with? Oh, is that why you look so shocked? He seems to be into anime. A fellow anime fan? Dead? Oh, rest in pieces. I mean, peace. <laughs> what 
What is an anime? Oh my gosh, Alex. You know what? Fire yourself. Just walk yourself out. Seriously? It's a Japanese cartoon. Uh, it's more than that. I'm it's afraid. holy. What do you even do for fun? I watch news and stuff. Very suspicious. Anyway, not much else on his computer. What's the anime called? Or in high school? No way. He freaking watched Or in High School Host Club. Uh, what the heck was it? It was about the the host club members, right? Tamaki and Koya and all that. If you guys don't watch anime, you have no clue what the heck's happening. That's weird. Sorry, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. Isn't it a shoujo anime? Which means it was designed for girls. What's wrong with men liking women things? Um, nothing. I just said it was unusual. That's all. I done nothing against it. Whatever. Haruhi was very manly in her own way. Hey, Doreen. Kane said you passed the interview and wants you to start next week. Andrew. Huh. His name was what? Doran. I found a condom. Looks like it was used recently. At least his last moments were happy. All good things must... No, stop. I can't. I can't do this joke. It seems like the killer and Doran were in a relationship. A jealous girlfriend? Could jealousy really make someone go into a murderous rampage? You haven't met my ex. Knowing you, I don't have to. What's that supposed to mean? Sorry, I don't know why I said that. Never mind, it's nothing at all. It's strange that I can't find any hair from the suspect. Maybe they didn't live together, and it was a sex worker. That is possible. I'm very uncomfortable with this conversation right now. You guys know I hate sexual things. <laughs> Should we leave now? I don't see anything else. Uh, now we're different people. Oh look, that's who I chose. Nadeza? Nadeza da? Nadeza da? Levina. How are you feeling? Uh. Who are you? I am your doctor. You had surgery. Your memory should return soon. Do you see anyone else in this room? No, just you. I don't think so. As you recover, you will see a null. His name is U29. U29 gives you the power to make people tell the truth. Take it easy today. Tomorrow, we'll do some exercises with your new ability. I'm a psychic? Oh, back to these two. I have no clue what's happening. I saw this curry powder at the store. It's highly rated online. I thought you might like it. Alex. Hey, Alex. Yo, you're right there and you wrote a note for me? <laughs> what are you doing, man? The lab report on Doran's semen is back. That was quick. That's what she said. <laughs> Stop. Stop with the sexual joke. Stop. Are you okay? I ask myself that every day. Anyway, Doran was arrested for breaking out Bethany Num. Bethany Num? Num? Nope. I'm a <laughs> From a mental hospital eight years ago. He got released a few years later for good behavior. So our suspect is Bethany? I hope not. Why not? He's 36 and she's 23. Wait, so he was 28 and she was 15 when he was arrested? We have some good news. Doran's brother and Bethany's parents are in town. Where is his brother? He runs an Indian food place. Oh, I love curry. But we have curry at home? You can never have enough curry. Do they live together? Are they a thing? Yeah, you can never have too much curry, bro. Even though I've never eaten curry in my life. Next day. What is happening? Who are you? Demons? What the heck? Why can't I choose to be the demon? Are you mad at me, Dijana? I know where Thomas is. I miss Doran. Why did you listen to Sandra? Because I keep us out of trouble. Yeah, right. It's not Sandra's fault. I killed him. It's her fault. She's manipulating you. Doran was spying on us. Do you want to go back to being a lab rat? No. If he was spying for the UPCA, they know about this place. Yeah, dumbass. You were jealous he loved me more. It doesn't matter. We still need a new host. Don't possess me. I'm not your. No, that's not my business. Okay. This dude really loves curry, but who is this guy? I haven't met him yet. Your brother was killed by a woman named Bethany. Do you know who she is? 
No, I didn't talk to Doran much. Why not? We weren't close to begin with, and I cut ties with him after he was convicted. You cut ties with him when he needed you the most? The restaurant was getting started and I didn't want to be associated with him. That seems a bit cold. You two are a judgy bunch. I chose my business over a criminal. I can't imagine giving up on my family. What a rosy view of the world. Your family tolerates you. Anything else is... Yeah, all right. When was the last time you talked to Doran, bro? I don't want your whole life story. Just tell me what happened. Right after he got out of prison about two years ago. I didn't really care to dig deeper. What did you two talk about? I put his things in a storage unit and gave him a key when he got out. Mind if we take a look? Here's the key. I hear you make great curry. We do. You're welcome to try some. It's on us. Later, I want to check out the storage unit first. Or er, later. Well, you don't need me to come with you. Some partner you are. I'll keep the seat warm for you. Jeez Louise, bro. Gonna eat all the curry without me? How rude. Oh, we're back to me again. Hello, Gilbert. We're having to evaluate your mental health. You're pleading not guilty for murdering your girlfriend, correct? Yes. Who do you think killed her? I don't know. When was the last time you saw her? Yesterday? We were eating? Okay, now my colleague will do some tests. Put Gilbert to sleep with mind. You? Oh, did I do it? Oh. You are in someone's mind. Use your psychic powers to figure out the truth. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for easy puzzles, okay? Because I really don't know how complicated it's gonna be. Oh my gosh, did you kill your girlfriend? What? How do I do this? Uh... Okay, so it's probably I did, right? What? Oh. Did you kill your girlfriend? Yes, I did. If I was trying to see what it was and I lost so many points. I'm sorry. Okay. Yes, I did. I think I did it. Did you finish? Great work. What did you do to me? Ah, you know, just the uh, fricked up your brain cells. I don't know how many brain cells I made you lose, like 490 negative. Hey Simon, what's up? I recovered the detail file in the computer you gave me. I'm sending it to you now. I should warn you, the video is a bit graphic. Thanks, I got the video. Next time be careful. What do you mean? Didn't you delete the video by accident? No, it was missing when we found it at Doran's place. You sure? When did you go to Doran's place? Two days ago, around noon. When I recovered it, the last time it was viewed was two days ago, 11.35 a.m. I'll call Alex now and ask him about it. Okay, bye. Bye. Uh, no answer. Uh-oh, he did. I forgot to my work at home. I'll be back. Yeah, sure you will. <laughs> what, if that was, what if that was your body on that dead floor, huh? Or back to these two. She probably has like three personalities, right? These two live in her. You can't just sit there. We'll die without a host. At least I'll get to see Doran again. I don't want to die, Jijana. Dijana. I'm sorry, Marine. Thomas could know a way to revive Doran. I'm not playing your stupid games anymore. Fine, throw away the only chance we'd have of bringing him back. Don't act like you cared about him. I'm sorry he's dead. I want him back too, okay? Uh, where'd everybody go? End of episode. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know if the music was too low for you guys. It was very loud for me. But we could just go through one of those situations that we always go through where I don't know the difference between whether it's too loud or too low. The music in the beginning was lovely. I really liked that. The story is all over the place, although... I don't know if, what the heck was her name? Sandra or whatever. The lady who has those three, um, I'm not good with names, so I'm not gonna remember anything. But the lady who has those three demons in that room, does she like have to possess people? I thought it was one of those things where she had like split personality disorder and those people just lived in with her. 
um, but I'm not sure. The episode was a little bit all over the place, but I figured out that Alex and the other lady were partners. Doran's the one that died. I'm in some sort of psychic facility. I guess my job is to literally get the truth out of people, which makes sense. Um, there are other episodes here. Maybe we will come back to them. I sucked at the puzzle, as I thought I would. Um, it would definitely help if there were instructions given to how to play the puzzle, and if you need to leave some spaces blank or something, because I didn't really understood, because when, it, when I got like negative 490 when I was messing around with it to see what to do, I didn't know that you had to keep the blank spaces blank. Like, how do I know there's not just other words there? Maybe you're not able to select it. Maybe I'm just dumb and I didn't select it. But I feel like there really should be some instructions to how to play those games. Uh, so far, it's good. The grammar wasn't half bad. The jokes I got a bit, a bit uncomfortable with because it's not really my cup of tea, but it might be funny to you guys. That first pizza joke was a bit funny, even though it was a bit sexual as well. But um, eh, it's fine. So right, that was Alter Egos. I've never seen a game like that in that sort of perspective where everyone's just like circles and they walk around and you interact with things and the art was nice i really like the beginning of the art i don't really know whose dead body was that maybe that was just foreshadowing to doran's body i don't know i'm thinking alex is gonna die yeah something is off about him like he was dreaming and all that stuff so maybe we'll be back to it maybe not you guys tell me down in the comments below i had a blast playing this and thank you for the developer for reaching out again anyway thank you ladies and gentlemen for coming to today's masquerade i upload every friday so if you want to see more gameplay videos and don't forget to subscribe to get an invitation to my next masquerade and click the like button to get this video to other people and to support me your host para bye